Hey guys, this is Penguini244 and today I am playing Animal Crossing as you can see and this video is going to be about my uh, DIY scorpion island that I make. I like to say it takes like an hour to catch a full inventory of scorpions from this but it probably takes longer than that but normally when I do it it feels like it takes an hour because like I regularly check the clock when I do it and it seems to take an hour but first you are going to need the Nook Miles tickets that come from the Nook stop and so I'm going to get I normally I like to get four of them and I already had one in my inventory I like to get four of them because like if you want to get a full inventory of scorpions and you don't want to have to get rid of like a ton of Nook Miles tickets. I normally try to get the island in like the least amount of tickets that I possibly can. So I normally get four of them, which I think this would be my third one. Okay, now that we have four of them, the whole like idea of like a DIY scorpion island is that you like clear everything off of an island and you scare away any of the bugs that you see that aren't scorpions naturally. You can't you can't scare away scorpions anyways, but, uh, there's a bug on that log, but, uh, <laughs> you clear off the entire island and scare away any bugs that you see and it makes scorpions, like, appear more often, so what I like to do is I drop all of my items off except for my net and my shovel and my axe because I'm going to need those. And then you head to the airport and you use your Nook Miles tickets to go to the random islands. And what you're looking for is the Bamboo Island. Because the Bamboo Island doesn't have like any ponds or like rivers running through it or anything like that. And it has more land so it's more chance for a scorpion to spawn. And also with like the waterways you normally get like the water bugs and you can't just scare them away you actually have to catch them to make them go away which is really annoying and through like my testing of like different islands while doing like DIY scorpion islands I found that the bamboo island gives me a lot more like a faster spawn rate than the others and so that's why you look for a bamboo island instead of any of the other islands you can do them with the other islands it's not like that big of a deal but I like to do it with the bamboo island because there's no water and it's less annoying because <laughs> you don't have to catch the water bugs which I always thought was like the most annoying part was catching the water bugs because you can't scare them away. Let's see what island do we have. Not a bamboo island. It is a waterfall island. This is like the most common island. The bamboo island, the bamboo island is that rare but it is like one of the rarer ones it i've never used over eight tickets to get a bamboo island so hopefully i won't have to do that today but uh scorpions do start spawning at 7 p.m normally i do this later in the night i start at like 11 but since i'm recording i want to start earlier just in case it takes a lot longer to catch all of the scorpions i don't really know how long it's going to take and I I don't really care how long it takes because scorpions do go for a lot of money. Like, yes, turnips are worth a lot more if you can sell them for the right price, but I find DIY scorpion islanding, if you want to call it, a like fun thing to do. And I don't do it like every night. Like I I do it just whenever I feel like I want to like play a game and I don't know what to do I'll like scorpion island at night or something and I after I get like a full inventory I'll take them home and put them in my house's storage until Flick comes and then when Flick is there I'll sell them to him last time I did like three or four amounts of like like full inventory scorpion things because they d really don't take me that long normally sometimes it'll take a lot longer but uh normally they don't take me that long so i kind of do it more often but uh 
I sold like three or four inventories of scorpion stuff. Like I don't remember how much it went for, but it was a lot of money. Third island. <laughs> the last one was the spiral island, which is also a very common island to get. It's normally like a toss up between the like waterfall island and the spiral island. Through all of my uh, like scorpion island stuff, I have not gotten a rare island. I haven't found one single rare island, which kind of surprises me because I do this a lot and I've gone to a lot of islands, but nope, I've never gotten a rare island yet. Nope, this is a fruit tree island. And if you guys don't know, if you if you guys are doing this, there are like items that fall out of trees that you can get and there's normally one on every island. And there's sometimes a like recipe in a bottle like the yeah, a recipe in a bottle, bottle. I can't remember what they're called normally on every island. But if you guys want to get those while you're like doing this, like go for it. But if I'm trying to get a full inventory of scorpions, I'm not going to do that. And the fourth island is not a bamboo island. So I'm going to have to get more Nook Miles tickets as a waterfall island again. Yeah, no more Nook Miles tickets. So I will be back when I go to the fifth island. Okay, we are back on our fifth island. I can't tell what it is. It doesn't look like a bamboo island though. No, it's the spiral island again. So on to the sixth island. Uh, yeah, sixth island. <laughs> okay, our sixth island also does not look like a bamboo island. <laughs> no. It's a waterfall island, I believe. Looks like it anyways. On to the seventh island. While we're here, the like islands are like totally random. So like sometimes like the last time I went to do the scorpion DIY thing, I got the bamboo island on my first ticket. So like sometimes you'll get really lucky like that and sometimes you'll have to do it like a bunch of times to get it like this time that I'm doing it. Our seventh island? I can't even remember what island we're on. Yeah, our seventh island is another waterfall island. It's sad. <laughs> I have one more ticket. Please be the eighth island. Oh yes, we got so lucky. The eighth island is the bamboo island. You can see the bamboo trees in the background. Okay, now that I am on the bamboo island. The first thing you want to do, well, what you want to do is clear everything out. Normally, I just start chopping down trees and my axe will normally break at some point. But uh, what you do about that is you do the little, the little rock trick. And what I like to do is like, while you're catching scorpions, your net is going to break at least once, maybe twice, but, uh, oh my gosh, I can't, I'm bad at this. Y what I like to do is I hit the rocks that are here, there's normally four, and I will pick up all of the iron, I'll just keep the iron on me, so that way if any of my tools break, I will get the, like, flimsy version of it, and then I'll just upgrade it, so that way it'll last longer. Because you don't want to have to keep like buying like 5 million flimsy nets. It's like nice easy resources to just pick up the iron. And then when you are catching scorpions you can just throw the iron out while you're catching them. And you normally don't need like a ton of iron. I only use like 2 or 3 pieces every time. Now that I have all of the iron I'm going to start chopping down trees. And I'm going to start with... <clears throat> The coconut trees because you also need the fruit i don't normally pick stuff up until i like absolutely have to but uh you will need the fruit to break the rocks because you want them to like not be in the way so you just eat four pieces of coconut and you just smack them with a shovel and they'll break but uh your goal is to just clear everything off of the island and for like flowers and stuff like that you pick the flowers 
and the stumps. You pick up the stumps too because you're just trying to eliminate everything that a bug can spawn on. So that way when you're running around scaring off the bugs, you have less bugs to scare away and it gives more of a chance for scorpions to spawn. And normally, normally it takes like a while for the first scorpion to spawn, but after after a while it'll start to pick up and you'll start to get more scorpions. At least for me anyways, I don't know, it varies because I've had like good runs, I've had bad runs. So we'll see how this one goes. But I'm hoping to get a full inventory of scorpions this run. And it really doesn't take that long to clear off the island, maybe like, I don't know, I don't even know. <laughs> like 10 minutes maybe. I don't know, I don't really pay attention to how long it takes me to clear off the islands. But while I'm clearing off the island, I will... I've never uploaded a Animal Crossing video before, so I'm going to talk a little bit about my Animal Crossing world. And if you guys also want to see more Animal Crossing videos, I'm willing to record more Animal Crossing videos. I play Animal Crossing, like, every day at least, because I do, like, my daily stuff and stuff like that. So I'm willing to record more, uh videos but uh my animal crossing island is named penguin because you know i like penguins penguini 244 like but uh the island is called penguins i am working on getting probably not all of the villagers because i have a couple villagers that i really like but uh i have three penguin villagers right now and I am working on getting more. I have one villager in mind that I really want to get, which is Sprinkle, I believe. She's a cute little penguin. And uh, so I'm working on... See, my, my axe just broke. Is that really the last... Okay, no, there's still more trees. But uh, I'm working on getting her. So I, I could even upload videos of me trying, like, going out when a villager moves out. And, like, recording me looking for penguin villagers because that's my goal is to just get a bunch of penguin villagers because why not like <laughs> penguin island might as well just have it full of penguins and uh my island is a four star island not a five star island so i'm also willing to like upload like decorating videos i'm not really not good at it but i can try that's why it's currently a four star <laughs> because oh yeah i need I need three pieces of wood, but, uh, it is a, please tell me I have three pieces of wood. <laughs> oh my gosh, did I not get any wood? Oh my gosh, three pieces of wood. Oh, that's so lucky. But, uh, I have a four star island right now because I just haven't fully decorated enough yet for it to be five star but i'm slowly working on it over time and i have like ideas that i want to do i don't know why i went to him but uh, i have ideas that i want to do for it so i'm willing to upload videos about that and stuff like that but um let's see is there anything else about my island i don't think so but uh, also if my voice seems louder and like more high quality it's because i got a brand new microphone since the last video that i uploaded so hopefully my videos from now on will have like higher quality higher quality audio and i also got like a different part that helps with like sound issues that i had before so hopefully everything will be good now but uh, now that everything is just like kind of cut down, I'm going to go around and pick up all of the weeds, pick all of the flowers, kick in all of my holes, and take up all the stumps. Which really doesn't take that long. And um, I will see you guys after the island is completely picked up. I will uh, demonstrate the like breaking rock thing if you guys don't know how to do it but you just eat a coconut i might as well eat this one too because there's gonna be more rocks but you can eat it and just smash the rock but yeah that's how you do that okay i believe the entire island is clear oh i just scared a bug but yes it looks completely clean 
the little the buried stuff with the stars that doesn't matter they don't they don't affect anything but uh if you don't know how to catch a scorpion this is how i catch a scorpion i bury bury i uh dig up this little like l shape and uh yeah this is how i like to catch scorpions i just make a little little l shape and uh that's where they chase me to but uh let's see okay but like essentially like the way the DIY island works is that you uh I find that I get more spawn rates when um I walk around instead of just like running around the entire time I walk so it gives like things more of a chance to spawn but you uh walk around and you scare away any bugs that you see oh I skipped a part all the stuff in your inventory you're probably like wondering what the heck do I do with that I either go on like the beach down here or I do it up on the like rocks but you just dump everything out of your inventory you drop it on the ground you don't you don't need it and the the iron I keep in my inventory and but everything else I just drop on the ground cuz you don't need them they're just cleaning up the island I'm gonna have to move because there's not enough space around me. <laughs> and you can uh, you can drop the axe and shovel too because uh, you don't need those anymore. I already like cleaned everything up and if you do need them for some strange reason just pick them back up. It's not that hard. But uh, you can scare away any bugs that you see, like the wharf roaches that appear on the rocks, the like dung beetles, and the tiger beetles, I think. But the mosquitoes, you can't really scare away. I'll normally either like stand here and wait for them to sting me. Let's see if he'll sting me. Yeah, there we go. Or bites me, Ed. He doesn't sting. Mosquitoes don't sting. But, uh, oh, God. There, there's already a scorpion. Okay. <laughs> And get him to chase us and not get stung by him because that would be sad. I was not expecting to get a scorpion that fast, but uh, you make him run around the holes a little bit until he gets stuck and then you catch him. The timing on the like circle spinning takes a little bit of getting used to. I mess up all the time when I do it because they do run around just in a circle but yeah that's our first scorpion that was really fast actually I was not expecting to see a scorpion that fast I even know like time wise how fast that was maybe I'll put a timer in but yeah first scorpion that was good I have high hopes for this but uh, yeah you just run around or I walk around and then when I see a bug I run at it but uh, they can obviously spawn on these rocks. They can spawn on the sand too. The hardest thing with the scorpion island, like don't expect to like not get stung by scorpions. It's really annoying when you get stung by scorpions because they disappear after that. And so you have to walk around and wait for another one to spawn. But I at least get stung by like three, four, maybe more than that every island. Because like... The hardest way to see them is like when you're walking like towards yourself this way it's really hard because like they'll like jump attack you because you can't you can see more of the island walking backwards than you can forwards and so it's a lot easier to see them that way but when you're walking this way it's really hard to see them and they can just like jump at you out of anywhere and so that's when i normally get stung but if uh Sometimes I'll have like quick enough reaction to where I will uh, be able to run away fast enough, but sometimes I'm not. You'll probably see me get stung them a couple of times in here. But, and there's also, I've seen it where like two scorpions will spawn at the same time. I don't know if it's possible for like more than two to spawn at a time, 
but I have seen it where two will spawn at the time at the same time. And uh, we'll see if that happens in this video. There's wharf roaches up here. But basically you just run around scaring away all the bugs. And scorpions will randomly spawn. You already seen one spawn. And that was really good. I was expecting to have to like cut a bunch of time in between that the first scorpion especially normally it takes a while for them to start spawning but it is completely random like when they will spawn like they have a certain chance to spawn and yeah but for this next scorpion I will probably have to uh, leave time in between <laughs> not leave time and <laughs> cut time in between I'm not like timing specifically how long it takes every scorpion to spawn. I don't feel like doing that. I feel like it takes longer when I'm timing it. So I'm just gonna leave it how it is. And normally when I do this, like I'll just like play some music in the background and like jam out while I'm like walking around looking for scorpions. So make it more fun, make it more interesting than just walking and a circle on the island. I don't know if you call it more of a circle or a square because the island is kind of square. But there's like four main bugs that you see minus the scorpion. The scorpion would be five. But the like dung beetle because it it's July currently. I don't know how long the dung beetle lasts though. Uh, the tiger beetles, the wharf roaches, and the mosquitoes. But those are the main bugs that you will see to scare away or let the mosquito bite you or whatever. The mosquitoes don't really do anything after they bite you. They just disappear, which is good. But I will see you guys when we find the second scorpion. Oh, speaking of second scorpion, that was, that was fast too. I was also not timing it, so there we go. I just crazily run around until he <laughs> chases me. If I was timing that, that would have been really fast. Since I said I'll be back when I see the next scorpion. So that's two scorpions already. While we are waiting for the third scorpion, I thought that I would talk about what my subscribers are called. Because like every YouTuber has like that thing that they call their... Well, okay, I can't say every YouTuber. Most YouTubers have, like, the thing that they call their subscribers. And I actually had, like, someone ask me about it. And, like, obviously I like penguins. So, like, it would be, like, penguin-related, I would think. I would assume. And so I was thinking, like, penguin army. I thought that was... That sounded good. Like, a penguin army. My subscribers would be... Oh, third scorpion my subscribers would be like a penguin the penguin army and so i thought that i thought that was cool but if you guys have any other suggestions that you would like to throw down in the comments that would be great i'm open to all sorts of suggestions i'm gonna let this mosquito bite me but uh so i'm open to suggestions but right now i'm leaning towards penguin army if i don't get any other suggestions for what my subscribers should be called and I know my channel isn't the biggest, but I still got like 27 subscribers to think about. <laughs> and they all are very important to me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions for what you guys want to be called, leave it down in the description and I'll look at them and see what I think. But that was the third scorpion. That was good while I was talking about something. <laughs> But uh, I'll see you at the fourth scorpion. <gasps> oh, there, there, there is the fourth scorpion. Almost. Okay, I want to say almost stung me, but I was kind of like just relaxing back. And if I didn't have like quick reaction time, definitely would have gotten stung by it. Let's see. What's my nook miles? Oh. Catch bugs look at that 
Got some more Nook Miles, but that is our fourth scorpion. Yes. <laughs> I'll be back with the fifth one. I also forgot to mention that uh, hermit crabs are considered bugs. So if you see a hermit crab pop up like that, you can scare it away. It'll run in circles for a while and eventually disappear. <gasps> Here is our fifth scorpion. That was bad. See, it takes like a little <laughs> practice to catch the scorpion. But that is our fifth scorpion. Woo -woo. I don't know how long it took us, but not that long, honestly, for me. But uh, I probably won't continue to record every single scorpion that I catch unless something like interesting happens, like two scorpions spawn or I get stung by a scorpion which will probably happen eventually but uh, I will probably record like every five scorpions or so or just like whenever something interesting happens but I hope you guys are enjoying it so far and I will see you after the next five scorpions are caught or if something interesting happens like me getting stung which me getting stung is more likely than two scorpions spawning at the same time I'm just I'm just saying that right now. <laughs> Ooh. Scorpion. Oh, I don't have a net. No. Okay. That's another thing. <laughs> I was trying to get the scorpion to chase me. Scorpions, I found out, don't chase you unless you are holding a net. So I almost made that scorpion run into the water and I would have lost that scorpion forever. I forgot that my net broke. That was almost sad. Oh, oh my gosh. You clearly saw that. That was the eighth scorpion and I got stung. Because it was, it was standing in the little flowers and I was also walking down and I didn't see it in time to run away. And so I lost that scorpion. But it happens. The Okay, the only annoying part about getting stung by a scorpion is when you need one more scorpion. And you find that one last scorpion and you're like, yes, I can finally go home and like put them in my inventory. But you get stung by it. Like the very last scorpion is so annoying. I do it like almost every time that I'm scorpion hunting. Oh my goodness. I didn't even see him. What the heck? This. Oh my gosh, guys. See, this is what I'm talking about. I have one chasing me and there's one up in that corner. We got the like rare two scorpion spawn and this is actually my 10th scorpion yeah this is my 10th scorpion and so this one will be my 11th which is really awesome that is awesome that that happened so fast actually i normally i don't even know how often that i see that happen but it does happen obviously you saw it happen but we now have 11 scorpions and uh it honestly hasn't taken me that long to just get that many and like you guys could like if you don't want to like sit here for like a couple of hours and catch an entire like inventory of scorpions you could just catch 10 or so if you really want to i like to go for the entire inventory of scorpions and i'm sure i used to catch like I don't even know. I, I never time myself when I catch them, so I can't say for sure how long it ever takes me. But when I'm, like, really into it and I'm just, like, jamming out to music while doing it, it doesn't seem to take that long, like, at all. And I think it's worth it. Like, I do it a couple times a night. Like, if I have nothing to do, like, just sit there and do it. I've done it so much that I have a, I have a good friend that calls me the Scorpion Queen because she has played Animal Crossing before and she it took her for like ever to catch a scorpion 
but she calls me the scorpion queen and the last time that I caught a bunch of scorpions I actually went to flick and I had to make me a model of a scorpion so I have a model of a scorpion on my island because I just I, I do it a lot and I think it's fun <laughs> But 11 scorpions, uh, two rare spawn. I will see you after the next five or so scorpions. I don't really know. I'll, I'll check back in sometime. Going back to talking about, like, the scorpions spawning. I, the last time I caught, wow, if I could talk. The last time I caught scorpions was in, like, June, I think. And so there was like, there was less bugs and the like water update hadn't like happened. So I don't know if the spawning rate is affected by any of these things. Like, so this could probably be taking longer than what it used to take me. Oh, while we're talking, there's a scorpion. But uh, yeah, the spawn rate could be totally different because of... The new bugs from July and like the water update like that could totally affect it and I have no idea because I just oh, I don't go that in depth and this is my first time like trying to catch them since the update and since the last time I've done it because I just haven't really had time to but yeah we've got 12 scorpions now we are doing good oh 13 see like how fast they like spawn in sometimes like it's just crazy i also got stung by that one because like i have a bad habit of like doing stuff with one hand and just like running around with the other so if like a scorpion like jumps a ju jump uh, jump attacks me <laughs> uh I have no way of stopping it. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. I have no way of stopping it if a scorpion jump attacks me because like I'll be doing stuff with my right hand and just walking around with my left hand so I can't quickly like run away, which is like my own fault. But oh, okay, that one that one just jump attacked me. Like I had I had both hands on the controller that time. There was no getting away from that one. <laughs> That's my that's my third time getting stung already. But it happens. Especially when they like start when they spawn in like rapidly like that, like Oh my gosh. I can't believe that happened. I was trying to catch the scorpion and I caught the freaking mosquito instead. Oh my gosh, now I can't catch it. What? Now I do recommend to do this in a month where there are less bugs that spawn because when I started doing this, mosquitoes didn't spawn, the dung beetles didn't spawn. So I literally only had to chase away the like tiger beetles. <clears throat> and so I think that like with less bugs, the higher like the uh what am i with less bugs that spawn the higher chance there is of a scorpion spawning so if there's just the tiger beetle or whatever that you have to scare away like it's a lot easier to just well okay wharf wharf roaches were there too but wharf roaches and tiger beetles just running around scaring those away it it gives like a higher chance for scorpions to spawn because there's not as many bugs that can spawn instead of the scorpion. So I do recommend doing that. Don't do it like, I mean, you can do it now. Like obviously it's still working really well, but it just seems to go faster when there's less bugs that you have to scare away. Okay guys, this is our 20th scorpion of the night I don't know how long it's been but we got 20 now just got 19 more to go because when you you can't remove the net when you catch another scorpion because you're like holding it or whatever so you can't like drop it so you can only hold technically 
39 scorpions because each row is 10 across so it would be 40 scorp 40 inventory spots so you can only hold 39 out of the 40 because you can't drop the net okay guys we have hit the 30th scorpion right here this is the 30th scorpion and uh i have no idea how long it's been but i don't really care if you guys are invested in it you can look at the time down in the corner of the screen oh my gosh i can't catch a scorpion there we go but we are almost there just nine more to go woo woo and i will see you at our last scorpion i guess Oh my gosh, of course, I only need two more, two more scorpions, and I get stung by one, of course, of course. This is my fifth time getting stung by a scorpion. If anyone can do this without getting stung by a scorpion, at least once, I applaud. I applaud to you. <laughs> okay, this is the final scorpion of the night this is number 39 oh what is he doing <laughs> oh final scorpion oh yes swap it do not let it go swap it with the iron <laughs> oh and i also got bit by a mosquito at the same time but yes we have full inventory of scorpions now we shall head back to the main island okay we are back to the main island and i'm going to head to my house and i'm going to put them in my storage until flick comes you can also sell them at the uh nook's cranny and you still get a lot of money for them just not as much as what flick sells them for i believe flick sells them for like fifteen thousand dollars a piece and i don't know what nook's cranny sells them for but yeah i know it's not fifteen thousand a piece actually if i take if i go to my calculator on my phone I take 39 times 15,000, that equals 585,000, so just for all of these scorpions it would be 585,000 bells, which is a lot of bells in my opinion. Okay guys, that is it for my video. I'm going to end it here. I mean, we got all of the scorpions and stuff like that. I hope you guys enjoyed my DIY Scorpion Island video. I hope uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. And ring the bell if you want to know when I upload new videos. My upload schedule is kind of all over the place right now. It's kind of just like whenever I get the chance to record and edit, I'll upload and stuff like that. And um, comment down below if you guys would like to see more um, Animal Crossing videos so I can set up some more of those and figure out what I want to do for them. And if you guys want to see like certain Animal Crossing videos, I just scared away that bug. If you guys want to see certain Animal Crossing videos, I'm also up for doing that. I'll do whatever you guys want to see if you guys want to see anything. But uh, thank you for watching. Bye!